Good afternoon, Todd Thornton here from TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Very windy day we have today, but I'm very excited to show you a 2022 Tiffin Allegro Bus 45 OPP. What makes this uh, bus so unique is most of these buses have the 450 Cummins in. This actually has the 605 uh, built into it. 605 horsepower with nine, 1,950 pounds of torque. We'll start back here real quick. We're going to go over the outside real quick um, and then get on the inside because of the wind today. But again, 605 horsepower Cummins built the Allegro Bus XSP. All new this year on the Allegro lineup is the steerable tag axle. That can give you a much better turning radius. Uh, just drivability is a lot better on this. Full body paint, seamless walls. Tiffin does a very good job with their fiberglass. They build it in-house. You got window awnings that come down, connect to here. So you have individual window awnings through, throughout the coach. In here, you're gonna have a storage bay and all their storage bays is uh, lined with kind of a Linex type thing. It's uh, not really Linex, but they call it their own thing. So it's a kind of like a truck bed liner. This one's just going to give you access to the uh, fresh water tank, which is 100 gallons. This coach has 100 gallons of fresh water, 55 gallons of black, and 100 gray. This coach was loaded in with options, uh, or ordered from the factory with options, this being one of the coolest ones. It's an outdoor kitchen. So you've got an induction cooktop right here. You got water right here. And you got a grill. Really cool, actually. Fire extinguisher if need. All of the bays will have the trays that go in and out. With the push of the button, this is going to go in. You obviously got your water pump right there. Really neat that uh, they do have an outside, outside grill. You don't really see that on the, a lot of the Class A's. One of my favorite parts about the Tiffins, they always have the steel back doors. Very nice. They shut very easily. Other manufacturers, it's pretty hard to shut. And above my head here, you have a LG Smart TV with a Bose sound bar. In here, you've got, like I said, these trays can go in and out on each side. This is awesome because you can utilize the, the uh, center of the coach without bashing your head. You can put it all the way out here. You're going to have your extend ladder for the rear cap to get on the roof. You're also going to have extra tile right here if you were to break a tile inside the coach. And above all things, they also send you with a the pots and pans for the induction cooktop. Like I said, these have never even been out of their bag, even though this is a pre-owned coach. That's going to be for the induction cooktop out here and on the, uh, the one inside. Put this away. And... Nice feature with the power cargo tray. And those cargo trays have a thousand pounds of uh, storage capacity. This bay, you have a refrigerator freezer by Truma, and that's also on a slide tray that can come all the way out here so you can get into it without messing up your uh, your slide here. Running on the Michelin 310 or 315-80 R22 and a half tires. This coach before you enter inside has the 360 camera system. So it's gonna have a camera on the front, two on the back, two on the sides, plus your turn signal cameras. Gonna give you great visibility throughout the coach uh, or when you're driving the coach, kinda of looks like a helicopter's flying above you to give you uh, no blind spots, if you will. A little sneak peek. We'll take a look at that, but we'll stop here and show you the uh, the dash of this Tiffin Allegro bus. 
all digital dash with uh, tons of different um, settings in there that you can, if you like to see your your uh, trip mileage or your average miles per gallon, I would recommend not looking at that. Uh, temperatures, you can set it to how you want it. This guy, whoever owned it first, had a Midland CB put in it. You got your Allison 4000 transmission on this upgraded 605 Allegro bus. You got your air horn, your three-stage engine brake. Down here, you got your great big navigation screens, your radio, 360 camera, which I'll show you. Kind of cool. Go here, camera. Oh, we gotta go back. HD camera. And this will be your 360 camera. So when you're driving it, it looks like a helicopter is literally flying above you. So with all the different camera positions here, you know, HD camera, you can see you can do just focus on the rear, watch your car, your sides, all the way to all four cameras to see everything around you. So above you've got a LG Smart TV. And this one is actually ordered, uh, has a in-motion satellite dish through WineGuard. This coach was ordered in obviously with the theater seating. And these are the electric theater seats, which are pretty awesome. They got built-in USB ports so you can charge your, your phones while sitting here. It's got all electric blinds, day and night blinds. One thing I like about the Tiffins too, they have very deep usable cabinets. Um, I mean, so you're not going to have, you're not going to fight over storage on, on some of the other manufacturers or the storage is cut in half. I mean, you can, you can see this is at least a foot and a half deep by at least a foot and a half tall, all solid wood with the hinges built in behind. This one has the Island and this thing just pulls out to give you extra counter space. But it also breaks up the kitchen area to the to the living room area. Built-in dishwasher. Let me set a true induction cooktop. Uh, this one's going to have the two burner. You have to have a uh, stainless steel pot or anything a magnet will stick to will will work on the true induction. Nice Corian countertops. You push this and you're going to have 110 plugs or USB plugs for your charging or your blender, coffee machine, that type of stuff. Whirlpool convection microwave oven. All stainless steel sinks, sprayer, hot water on demand, soap. And again, I love what Tiffin does with all their slide trays, very deep storage again throughout the coach. As you can see, just utilizes the space very, very nice. And here you're going to have a slide out tray. It's going to have your uh, waste basket on it. And just again, utilizing the space that's hard to get to back there. All the drawers, utilizing anything they can. Um, let's turn our attention over here. Here you've got a tri-fold sleeper sofa opposing the recliners. That's about a queen bed. It's a tri-fold with an air mattress. This was ordered in with the ottoman so people could sit here and put their legs up here. Flip this over and have your drinks and storage. And then when you're not using that, we can slide that right in under the table. 42 inch LG smart TV with a sound bar built in. And that is on a televator. So if you do not uh, wish to watch TV during the day, you can press a button and this is gonna go down, utilizing and having your big, uh, large windows behind it. The whole bus is controlled by multiple little control panels, little, we'll call them mini iPads. Uh, that's going to control everything from your lights, your slides, your um, 
windows, coverings, the whole thing. As you can see, it's still got the plastic on it. <laughs> this bus has about 3,500 miles to be, to be exact. So, got your dining room table with storage underneath. Into the kitchen area, again, utilizing the space very, very nicely. Never have enough storage on a Class A motorhome. And for you wine lovers out there, you got a built-in wine cooler that literally has never been used. You can see all the stuff still down there in the wrapper. Never been turned on, probably never been used. You've got a nice, huge LG uh, residential refrigerator with the built-in ice maker, filtered water, huge residential like uh, refrigerator with the freezer portion of it. They put the wood covering over the stainless steel to make it feel like that bus style. Locks built in. And then this is a beautiful pull out pantry right here. All these have nice locks. That you shut it, it's going to lock there. On to the midship bathroom. Uh, before we get there, all tile heated floors with three zones front, back, and mid. You also have a built in um, kick plate vacuum cleaner. So you can turn that on and sweep everything there or you can plug in your vacuum hose here and go around and, and vacuum. Midship bathroom. So it's awesome if you have guests coming on you can close this privacy door right next to me. They can utilize this bathroom. You guys have your own private bathroom in the back. Solid door throughout. And then again on the the iPad this is one of the bigger ones. Uh, and this is going to be where you control your, right now we're running off generator power. It's going to show all your power coming into the coach. It's going to show your, all your lighting, um, your heating sources, battery levels, your tank levels, um, turn your inverter on and off. You can go through and dim all the lights, your master light. If you're ready to walk out of the coach, hit that master and it's going to turn off. All your heat, front, mid, rear, your floor heats. Your aqua hot settings, and I said your slides, all your uh, day night shades throughout the coach, all your fans, your bay locks. So if you come in at night, you, honey, did you lock the uh, bay doors? I don't know. You can walk up here and hit that, and it's going to lock it. Your TV lifts, your bed lift on this uh, bed right here. You're going to press that, and it's going to Put the bed in an upright position uh, for watching TV, reading, anything like that. Nice king size bed with reading lights on both sides and reading lights above. Again, on both sides of the bed have these same touch pads, just a little smaller ones. Multiple 110 plug-ins, multiple USB ports. So just a lot of technology in this coach for uh, charging your phone, your iPad, everything at night. Again, very deep usable cabinets above the bed. Again, king size bed with a, it's a uh, memory foam bed. Big privacy door that's going to close here and you also got one behind, we'll show you on the way out. Come on into the master bathroom. You're gonna have a huge shower, built-in stool or built-in uh, uh, step to sit down. Got a big, beautiful skylight. You can have the skylight coming in, or you can close that and have a uh, just the regular lights coming in. Built-in macerator toilet. The whole whole coach has a built-in macerator too. So. That's on the outside, it's too windy, we didn't show you. <laughs> in here you got a walk-in closet, but it's nice if you're doing laundry and stuff. If someone comes over, close that off, they're not going to see your dirty deeds. In here, 
you know, your uh, stackable washer and dryer. You walk in, you're going to have a uh, walk-in closet. It's going to have a clothing rack the length of the coach. And down to the right there, you're going to have a built-in safe. You got your vacuum cleaner parts, shoe rack. I don't know if that's going to be enough racks for some, some of you ladies out there. Built-in fuses, very easy to read everything. Drawers, again, soft closed drawers. They do an awesome job. I, I, Tiffin does a really good job. Double sinks. Plenty of 110s on each side. Again, a little iPad type thing here so you can control the multiplex lighting. Vanity cabinets. Tons of lights everywhere. Privacy door. And then uh, the other privacy door is right here. So if you have a guest coming over, you can close this off. You have your privacy to your own bad bedroom. They have the privacy to the mid bath. Another LG Smart TV with a Bose soundbar on our JBL soundbar on a televator. With a push of the button, this is going to go away to access your emergency escape window behind here. You've got a Furion fireplace, not just for looks, it actually puts out about 7,200 BTUs of heat. Beautiful wardrobes again on both sides and all of these shelves in here are adjustable. On this one, you're gonna have your DVD and your satellite control systems in this one. Four slides on this one, these two slides will come in and then you got two slides in the front that will come in. So it really opens up back here. And I looked at that. One thing I like about them, I mean, no matter where you look, you're gonna have multiple USB ports just kind of hidden around because um, the world we live in, everyone's got three iPads and two iPhones and headphones and everything that need to be plugged in. So there's multiple ports everywhere. Press this, again, two USBs, two 110s. Both these chairs flip around to join the party. One thing I like about the uh, Tiffin, which is very unique, is they put their front slide controllers right here on the back or on the side of these chairs. So makes a lot of sense because when you're putting the slide in, if you're up here pressing a button and this chair is pushed back a little too far, this slide's gonna win. It's gonna rip this chair, uh, possibly break it, definitely gonna damage your leather. When you have the button right here, retract and um, extend, you're staring at the slide. So there's no chance um, of you putting this slide in with this chair interfering with it, just like right over here. And what they are is they're little Little wireless remotes. Let's see if I can get this one off. Just a little wireless remote with a little watch battery in it. Extend and retract just on the side of the chair. You got a power toll window while we're here. Press a button that's going to open up, pay your tolls. Both these chairs all, uh, have the recliners in them, so when you're flipped around, they have the recliners. This one was all ordered in with the co-pilot navigation screen. So you, whoever's sitting here can control the radio, the navigation, the different camera settings, um, all from the push of a button instead of the driver trying to change all that up here. Again, another control center iPad. You got a wireless charger right here, USB ports. A lot of nice features on this coach. Um, Built-in seat belts are in the chairs. I do have the original build sheet for this coach, so if you have um, any more technical questions, oh, it, it does have six solar panels on top with the extended life batteries. Um, that was one of the options. If you have any more questions, like I said, I have the true build sheet from this. It has about 3,205 miles right now. Interesting scenario, how we acquired it. Uh, health reasons forced the prior owner to sell it, um, so we have acquired it. It is for sale. 
If you have any questions, give me a shout, 970-301-3736, or send me a quick email at todd.thornton, T-H-O-R-N-T-O-N, at transwest.com, and I've got, like I said, build sheet, multiple pictures, and see if we can't make a deal for you. So thanks for joining us today, and uh, stay safe out there. Thanks, guys.